Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to make a quick update video about Jennifer Burton and her website, So I Dated a Police Impersonator YouTube channel, basically. If you watched one of my last videos, you saw that she had removed all the videos from her channel, so it was just blank. And then later in the day, or I think the next day, she re-uploaded, I'm sorry, she made all the videos public again, except for a lot of the incriminating ones against Jeremy DeWitt. And now today on May 15th, 2023 at 7 16 AM Eastern time, that's Jeremy time. She has now made four of the incriminating videos against Jeremy public again. I don't know exactly what she's doing, but I do want to follow along here and keep you guys informed. Now, if you recall the la if you looked at her channel yesterday, this was her first video, Jeremy's hearing update. And then the second video was this one, Jeremy's first appearance. And these four right here, where she was like anti Jeremy saying stuff like his wife is on the run, escaping to Egypt. She had deleted that video and made it private. Basically this other video where she said, uh, Jeremy's house is going into foreclosure. She had made that private as well. And, uh, this Jeremy's hearing. Uh, the new cases, Polk County, she made that private. And then this one saying that Jeremy DeWitt is lying. Checks and accidents where she was uh, making incriminating statements about Jeremy. That was private as well. And for some reason, early this morning, she made those four videos public again. The question is why? Why is Jennifer making these moves? Today's May 15th. And today I know that he was supposed to be scheduled for an insurance fraud trial in Orange County. But as we know, on this case here, the insurance fraud trial, it was already rescheduled. Let's scroll down here. The hearing was supposed to be today. The trial has been rescheduled for July. Now, last week on May 11th, there was a notice of supplemental discovery that was added to the record. And that right here says that they want to make the information available to the defense and states as follows. It's going to be an email from Jennifer Burton. What email exactly are they talking about? We don't know. It doesn't say yet, but this shows me that Jennifer is making moves and she is involved. And with the recent changes that's going on with her YouTube channel here, it tells me that something is happening behind the scenes. So stick around. We're going to figure out what it's all about. We're also going to be figuring out if Jennifer's pregnant or not. We've got our ways. We'll figure it out. So stay tuned. Uh, you can check out the So I Dated Police Impersonator YouTube channel over at this URL right here. And if you want to check out these videos, they've been erased, but now we can watch them again with her ridiculous accusations like Jeremy DeWitt's wife is on the run from the law. How ridiculous. When really, Rania was really in Egypt to attend the funeral of her father, and then she came back. Had nothing to do with her running from the law. Jennifer is still missing some of her old uh, videos here where... Uh, she was indicting Jeremy DeWitt on some of the insurance fraud stuff. We, um, so it, it, those ones are still missing. New ones are appearing. Check them out. If you like stay tuned because we're going to be following this and seeing what's going on. And we're going to be checking out the Jeremy DeWitt hearings and trials early June and late July unless he gets another continuance. So make sure you subscribe to PT's Far Removed Uncle. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think Jennifer might be up to with making all these videos private and then making them public again and then keeping these four as private. But now all of a sudden today, she made them public. For what reason? What's she doing? What's going on through her mind? Thanks for watching. And as always, make sure you have yourself a great day.